exploded. I don't want to say exactly as predicted, but exactly as predicted. It's blown up for us again. And those levels that we were watching the last couple of days, I think the sweat work has finally paid off. Was that the bottom of this current move? So we're going to take a look at that situation. We're going to see where BTC can perhaps go now uh, in the next 24 hours. Then are we turning bullish on AI again? So I'm going to look at a couple of those uh, AI tokens. And then I've got an absolute banger for you guys that I think is a bit of a sleeping giant. We're looking at like a 500% move uh, that could potentially play out over the next few months. So we've got a lot to talk about here. It's nice that we green. The bullhorn's going to be back. Looking forward to this one. Let's get into it. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. A bright green banter bubbles. Everyone's feeling more relaxed. I could have sworn I saw Ray smiling there just now. I got the legend. He just woke up. I took him out of his cage. Everyone is here. Everyone's happy. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Are we bullish again? Are we back? What are we doing? Cautiously, cautiously bullish. Cautiously cautiously bullish. Yeah, Ray? Let's, Where are you, let's, Ray? Let's pop down the quick TS72. Yeah, we'll uh, you're gonna hate me when I tell you what I've done. I'll, I'll tell you what I've done just now. I'll tell you what I've done. Um, okay, so banter bubbles here, looking good. Okay, nice and green. That's a good start. We have seen AI token. They've lit up today. We've seen uh, AGIX here is lighting up. It's uh, four percent up. Fetch seven and a half percent. So we've had a nice little move here. But most importantly. We had BTC blow up number one, and uh, that is what we've been waiting for. So let's just take a look at this BTC chart, and then we're going to start diving into what is actually happening there, because there's also news floating around about old Dusty uh, that we always talk about. So we're going to just talk about uh, that old shit coin uh, just now. But uh, most importantly, uh, BTC, what did they? What did they do? They held. Our 618. So yesterday I was telling you guys, all we needed to do was make sure that we can print uh, some kind of higher low here, then we should be okay. And they try to sweat us out one more time. Last night, they put those alts under pressure. We felt it. And, uh, you know, those of you that were holding on to these tight supports uh, and things like that, you have now finally been rewarded for your nerves of steel. So uh, if you were wondering uh, levels now, what are we going to do? So let's just plan this together while we're looking at it. So uh, earlier yesterday, while we were looking at this region here as resistance for BTC, so uh, 67K, this was a big number that we wanted to smash. We've now cracked it. So what am I looking for now? Now we are going to dial in. We want to look for some support levels here. We want to try and find out manageable pullback zones, areas where we can be relaxed uh, if we get a pullback and areas that we can start looking to buy with confidence. If this move is going to hold, we're going to buy these pullbacks now on BTC and we're going to start pushing uh, these things. I think we are due uh, some kind of bounce now on the alts. We've seen BTC leading the way and uh, hopefully these alts that are that they've moved but they haven't exploded yet. And uh, with this next uh, little pullback on BTC, we could see uh, a nice little alt move. So what am I looking for here? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull my fib from these lows. This is the lows from uh, earlier today. So I just want to check uh, these type of levels here. And I can see my 618 is a little bit lower down. Uh, let's look where our 382 is. Okay, this is looking good so far. So areas that I'm watching, areas that I like right now, anything uh, where we are comfortable, bullish pullbacks that we can be patient with, we don't have to be stressed about uh is for me 66 800 so that's a big area now that we want to pay attention to so let btc do its thing if we do get this pullback here this is a bullish zone for me this is a zone where you can add to positions this is a zone where you can look for bounce longs this is where you can start loading up uh btc on any types of pullbacks if you're not in already if you weren't grabbing buyers in these lows or at these lows uh, over the last couple of days while we've been talking about it. So that is uh, zone number one, call it 66,800. Zone number two, 66,150. That's a lovely area as well, 66,150. Both of these are hot zones for me. And uh, upside targets, we're going to keep this simple. This was a uh, an area of interest for us before. So call it 68,900. That's a nice little region that we're going to watch. Obviously, we have a couple of wicks in the way that we can pay attention to. Uh, just mark these on your charts these are obviously areas of interest 68k and uh, 68 400 but i really like 
the 68 900 a little bit higher up so that is my plan now uh, for today and uh, just an update on some of my trades this is where we were yesterday and uh, i hold strong it was a deep burn it wasn't very comfortable uh, i was sweating in some of these positions that link really put me under pressure and uh, you know btc also sweated me out a little bit but we've turned green and uh, you know we had we had to hang on to our conviction there what was our conviction that we were going to hold those lows if we we're going to hold those lows then we couldn't really exit you know we had to look at those areas as solid support and we had to back those levels and uh, that is what we've been doing for the last couple of days we've been talking about these areas and uh, now they are playing their part so this is where i am uh, on prime xbt currently and uh, hopefully that was now the bottom of the move and uh, hopefully now it can be plain sailing for the next couple of days let's see how we lead uh, into the weekend we're obviously going to be a little bit cautious you know while we play the game and uh, that is why i opened up this poll here uh, for you guys i just wanted to see the, the sentiment uh, at the moment here and uh, i've said yeah nice bounce for btc and uh, 43 percent of you are bullish uh, 50 percent are cautious like uh, the legend there in the back he's cautious and only 7% want to send it to hell. I mean, well, that's a nice relief because I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I see Schemo says his conviction stopped him out. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys were feeling a lot more bearish yesterday uh, on major support. And again, another lesson uh, for us, when we're sitting on these major support zones, we don't want to feel too bearish. We'd rather feel bearish after a nice pump into a resistance area that is where your your bearishness needs to come into play you don't want to watch a 20 percent bleed out on altcoins and then uh turn bearish on major support because inevitably we get some kind of bounce because that is where everybody starts shorting late uh in those areas when they think everything is going to fall over and i want to show you something interesting uh, uh a tweet that we saw uh these hedge funds i mean is this amateur hour or is this amateur hour uh hedge funds are shorting btc at record levels you know what I mean? Why are these guys shorting uh, on major support? So uh, obviously, maybe this time is different for them. But uh, we've seen now a nice little bounce on BTC. And that's a good start for us. Now we're going to see if we're going to maintain this bullish momentum. But uh, a good start for us. And, uh, you know, these guys that shorted BTC, well, now they're feeling uh, a little bit of pressure. So we'll keep our eyes on that. And then uh, what else we got in the news? I mean, I think we have to feature uh we have to feature the shit coin <laughs> we have to talk about ripple i mean they just keep coming up with plans i mean ray i mean this is absolute comedy isn't it? this i mean oh, ray, we <laughs> doggle, it's also absolute comedy but <laughs> but bro here they go now ripple wants to uh enter the stable coin fray okay so now now they want to have their own stable coin i mean fuck, these guys are getting desperate anything uh to pump the price i mean this guy uh he even looks a little bit like bernie madoff here this guy at uh, at the bottom but uh you know that's a that's a, that's a different discussion but uh what i'm looking at now is the xrp chart and what did it do it responded to the news and it gave a little exit pump for all those xrp guys uh that like to use uh, the news for their exit pumps and uh, it's settling back a uh, back down into its world of nothingness so uh what am i looking at here for btc i mean for xrp what you want to watch uh as support now after that pump move if there is going to be anything in the tank here 0 0.585 okay watch 0 0.585 that is that 618 that we have now reclaimed that is also the 200 day moving average holding you up and it's a trend line holding you up so if there's any xrp traders left is if there's any xrp fans left this is your desperado moment this is you at 0 0.58 0 0.58 that is your support marker that you want to play with now for xrp if you think there is anything left in the tank here i might be absolutely wrong and xrp might uh, one day go to the moon and surprise us but but if you like it those are your levels that's where you can play and uh, that's it Ray. <laughs> oh ray i'm just I, I i don't know why i love talking about it just, just makes me it makes me so happy um okay what what else have we got here uh let's see oh this guy um jim kramer i mean fuck me uh he's been around we've been counter trading this guy forever and uh, i mean i see i see the legends in the back giving a round of applause i don't know i enjoyed jim kramer because he gave us such good content i mean every time he wanted to go long on something we just counter traded him or every time he wanted to be short <laughs> 
I mean, it's, I don't know. I'm sad to see him go. So uh, I was on Twitter asking the question today and I'm open to anything in the chats here. So let me know. Uh, what I was saying here was, that, you know, he's retired. Who do we have left to counter trade? Well, we know Kathy Wood. Whenever she sells Coinbase shares, we know uh, Bitcoin pumps. So that's always a good sign. And, uh, you know, so we know she's number one. Number two is Capo. I, I like, we got to give the guy credit. He has had some massive calls uh, in the past, but we have seen that people like to bring up his tweets and counter trade uh, what he has to say. So Capo's number two and go to Twitter there. Follow me at the Lord of Entry. Okay, go onto Twitter and fill in my list there. Okay, I, I want to know. I think you should do it. Why don't you take over at the NBC? You know? Because <laughs> then Lord everyone's going to counter trade me, Bruce. What the fuck? <laughs> okay go look go look at my twitter there fill in the blanks okay i want to know and if it's me if you counter trade me it's fine i've got a very thick skin tell me uh if you like to counter trade me put me there uh on your list so let me know fill in the blanks there this can be up to a list of 10 people i'm just very interested to find out uh who you guys want to counter trade i see relaxation station says we like to counter trade run look we know uh from past uh past experience and we've seen this now a couple of times when run turns mega big bearish we often get a bounce okay but long term he's often called it right so you know sometimes we get the short term wins and we get the bounce and me and Sheldon go yeah we told you but then uh, you know sometimes the market then reverses and longer term he has often got it right so uh you know let, let's let's give run his credit where it's due but he was super bearish so for me that was definitely a long <laughs> it was definitely you gotta, you gotta uh, remember long. that a broken clock is right twice a day right <laughs> <laughs> but when uncle run goes red tiles multiple days in a row then you know uh you know it's time to to start looking for a bounce long even if it's a short term uh, a short term play and then i just found this funny i mean this peter schiff guy obviously he does it for the for the laughs he does it for the interaction but he says the dumbest shit and uh, he's done it again he said so far in quarter two 2024 here are the results i mean <laughs> let's keep it pg-13 man pg-13 <laughs> He goes silver up eight percent, gold up three point four percent, Bitcoin down seven percent. I mean, if you want to go argue with him, go argue with him on Twitter. We know. I mean, he obviously knows. He's a smart guy. That that is the dumbest statement in history. Um, but uh, you know, <laughs> go, go have a laugh. Go look. Go look at what he's to say. Uh, and then Seth is just giving us a, a chart here. Uh, th that was interesting. He's basically saying, calm down, follow the fractal, look at this current situation. But uh, you know, I mean, this is for bigger picture guys. Guys. this is for spot traders and things like that if you're sitting in leverage you don't really want to look at this chart because he's giving you a range low here of about 55k so uh, that is going to be a very deep burn uh, if he wants to send it down to 55k but uh, for all the spot traders and things like that that's nothing i mean it's absolutely nothing so uh, as you were you know keep cruising and uh, there's no changes there for you guys okay so uh, here we go uh, you can see uh, we've got our liquidation heat map this is the one day and uh, the longs are starting to pile up again so we've got a little fight now uh, as to what the next plan is so just keep your eyes on this but you can see the longers are starting to load up again and uh, we'll we'll keep we'll pay attention to that but uh, we know bitcoin traders love a bit of momentum and uh, when they see the green candles what do they do they start adding we start pushing leverage goes up and then we get a nice little move okay and then everyone who's cleverer than us start shorting it and they get squeezed and then they think they're clever again and they short it again and they get squeezed and uh, we have fun so that is the current plan okay let's get into a couple of things here that i want to share with you guys number one uh, i haven't uh, i haven't spoken about this in a while there, there's a newsletter from banter called the daily candle okay and every day uh, they're giving you nice little setups here so what you need to do is go onto the daily candle at substack and uh, there's going to be a link in the description here uh, for you guys so click on that link if you want to subscribe to the daily candle they're giving you setups and ideas uh, getting sent out every day so there's so many there's so many ways to get alpha here at banter and uh, daily candles obviously one of them you can watch all the shows you can join the paid channels you can do all these things you can follow us all on twitter i mean there's multiple multiple avenues for you but i just want to bring this to your attention if you like newsletters you like trades you like setups take a look daily candle grab that link in the description i have asked them to put it in there so if it's not there immediately it should be there within the next few minutes so uh, just keep uh, keep checking and uh, it should be there for you guys Okay, uh, let's go. Let's look at our first bit of juice here. Look, uh, let's talk ETH. Um, so no changes to ETH. I'm still long ETH. Uh, I know Ray is still long ETH. He's still sitting in his ETH position and no reason to exit. Okay, we know. Uh, 
reason to exit ETH. I know some of the guys uh, are still getting bearish on ETH, and but we like that. They must be bearish on ETH. It's good. Um, you know, it gives us better entries anyway, but uh, I'm still holding my ETH position. I'm still looking for bigger things. So right now, support that I'm watching for ETH, you can watch the current level, 3350, and then you can look at today's low or the, or the low from earlier, 3000. 200 so watch these areas for now for ethereum i'm, I'm not really going to dial in here we're not looking for uh, big moves just yet but uh, if you are sitting in eth there's nothing uh, to worry about just yet watch these areas 3350 and uh, 3200 watch these levels if eth loses 32 it means btc is now reversing and uh, we could be uh, we could be feeling some more pain so no changes there and then the other big dog solana uh, again nothing to report here we in a we in a bull flag here on the weekly you can see what's going on and uh, as long as we're just floating around here we chilled okay we are still bullish soul if you are holding spot nothing to worry about nothing to panic about and uh, looking for bigger things you're on soul but it might take time or it might not we know april is a bullish month uh, for solana with the airdrops uh, and the ecosystem so we still think there is a uh, room for a 250 solana so my view hasn't changed and you can see again on prime xpt i'm still sitting long soul uh, I, I did sweat bullets when uh, that thing started dropping it wasn't pleasant and uh, but i'm holding the soul position for as long as i can and uh, we want to see if we can get uh, a bigger move so that is the sole plan. Okay, uh, then I do have a couple of uh, a couple of things floating here. Uh, the guys on Twitter are turning bullish on AI again, and you would have noted uh, if you were trading AI tokens, you would have seen that uh, things are looking a little bit more bullish. I mean, Ray actually started the AI run yesterday when he put on his uh, his goggles. So yesterday AI was flat, and what did we actually say? We said if Ray puts on the goggles, the market's going to bounce. Okay, he put them on. Fuck me. Here we are. AI's popping. Okay. So credit to Ray uh, for that amazing call. And, uh, you know, here we go. So AI is back in the game and uh, it's all over Twitter. Okay. So here's one of them. Johnny uh, Crypto God John. Total market cap of AI crypto is going to trillions, he says. Currently at 25 billion. I mean, do you need more information than that? And uh, then today I said to you guys, I'm extremely bullish on crypto ai and i wanted some tokens for you guys so uh, the one at the top of the list here was singularity so uh, i've charted singularity for you guys uh, as one of the tokens of interest here so let's just take a look at this uh, and just try and see where we are you know i trade uh, render we trade ocean fetch all these types of things but i haven't looked at singularity uh, in a while so i just wanted to give you guys a little picture uh, as to what's going on and where i like it so uh, number one we can see what happened here we, we actually peaked at the top so that is technically a little bit bearish okay so we got a bit of a double top here uh, on singularity but now are the bulls going to come and save uh, ai for us and uh, are they going to give us a bounce so the first thing you want to do is try and identify your massive support regions your strong zones and you can see how beautifully during that dump now when we saw all these tokens moving down over the last three four days that i've been showing you on my show uh, these hot zones look at agix look out pinged the 786 fib look at that perfection uh, onto the 786 so major support for me for agix right now is 1.02 so if you are trading leverage that is your first sort of area of interest where you'd look uh, to exit if you start losing that level but this is a massive area at as a whole okay so we've got a bullish order block here uh, from lux algo i've got the 50 day moving average holding up this region as well and i've got strong horizontals in this area so there's a lot telling me that uh, agix should or could hold this area if there's a deep pullback on btc or there's some bearishness here in the market there's a good reason uh, why agix should hold this 0 0.96 so if you are bullish on ai and you believe in uh, in tweets like this and you believe in ai and you believe uh, in ray sitting here with his goggles on i mean the man wears these goggles every day okay tell me that you're not bullish on AI bullish. when you see that type of shit. And uh, here we are. So AGIX, if you want to start building a position uh, on uh, on these uh, on these tokens, this is your first starting point. This is your support all the way down to 0 0.95. That is your area uh, that you want to be looking at uh, for AGIX. Okay. And then lower down, obviously, if we get a massive meltdown, we need to understand where do we have our stink bids? Where's our next zone? And, uh, you know, where are we buying? Where are we actually selling the dog, basically? to start buying AGIX and that's going to be down here uh, at this uh, at this level anyway uh, at 0 0.66 I see now I didn't say sell the wife I said sell the dog okay but I mean we can we can find sell the wife where's your sell the wife is that at uh, is that at 12k Bruce, mm, is, is sell the wife yeah. at 12k bitcoin you know I, I, uh, roughly yeah roughly yeah 
Why are you watching that? I mean, I got commitment issues, so we have more. We have, we have multiple lives. <laughs> Okay, so AGRX, these are the numbers. That's what I'm interested in at the moment. If you're adding to your bags, this is such a nice juicy zone. Obviously, if they're going to send us lower and they want to come and smash us and they want to kill us, well, we know our next level. We know our big zone uh, of interest. But right now, for me, anything down to the 0.95, I like this region uh, for AGIX. Uh, so if you are stacking, uh, that is where you are going to be looking. Okay, and then I've got a smaller project. Also, the guys are talking about uh, on Twitter. This is Johnny again, Crypto God. Johnny. And he says it looks like my uh, OXO or whatever you guys are going to call it, Zai Zai or whatever you want to call this thing, OXO, pieces of whales starting to accumulate. Basically, the guys are getting bullish uh, on this OXO token again. Uh, there's another guy talking about it, Hudson. Uh, he's uh, also trying to uh, show you guys a nice little setup on this thing. So take a look at this OXO. It's a 330 million market cap, so it's by no means tiny, but uh, maybe a bit of a sleeping giant here for you guys. Maybe something that can really start getting traction, and it's a accumulating nicely at the moment uh, on this current chart. So I quite like the look uh, of, uh, of the setup at the moment. So big area for me. What we like is this nice accumulation here uh, onto this level here, holding uh, this 382. So any hold on, dips. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, there's some, something's wrong with the lights. It's not adding up. The math is not right. So, so wrong with my, I thought you there's said something wrong with my mic. I was like, fuck, oh, I'm taking you. There's something wrong with okay, the lights. Let's, let's just deal with this. Let's just deal with this. Guys, okay. I need you. I need you here. If you if you like the content, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell button. Do all those types of things. Make Uncle Ray happy. Make me happy. Make Uncle Run happy. He likes to see the likes uh, and the subscribing on the channel. So hit the likes, hit the subscribe, hit the bell button, get the alarm, and uh, then we can uh, we can go back to business here. Okay, thanks, Ray. I hope I did a good job there. Um, okay, OXO, uh, loving this area over here. You can see there's multiple reasons why it looks like a nice juicy zone. If you're trying to add to your bags, you're trying to build a position in an AI token, maybe you want to be looking at this guy. What do we have in store here? We've got the 382 holding up on horizontals. Okay, so number one, 0 0.364. That's a hot zone here for us. Then we also uh, have this 50-day MA pushing up lower down as support zero uh, anything up to the 0 0.34 0 0.35 so there's a couple of reasons here why uh, i think the support can hold for you on any deep pullbacks and if you're looking for buyers you're looking for dcas these are your areas if the market's going to run away from you and uh, maybe we never get the lower the lower levels this is your dca level number one Okay, if we start melting down, uh, then again, be prepared. Okay, don't be upset if you're sitting in spot bags and you bullish on AI. Well, then this is your opportunity to add to your position if you get a dip lower. So it's quite simple. And uh, also, if you're sitting in a 3x margin and you're running those type of accounts and you're trying to build big size positions, well, you want a DCA on good areas. And uh, right now, this is uh, OXO, anything down to this 36 is a good zone for me. It's a nice solid area where you could get a bounce and then a little bit lower down, we've got horizontals and 618 for you at 0 0.26. So both of these are good zones for me. If you get a bounce here, well, then you're in the position. And uh, if they melt you down later, then you know the next big zone uh, where you are going to be buying. Okay, how's uh, how's everybody in the chats here? Let's see. Let's see. Where's uh, where's my people? Where's my people? I see Crypto Man likes Woof. And uh, we, look, I mean, I was chatting to Fred today about Woof, and and uh, you know, he was thinking maybe one day we're going to get an opportunity to buy Woof at one dollar again, and uh, that's going to be a time when we're really going to start uh, uh, really start filling our bags. I mean, I think Woof peaked at about four dollars uh, recently, so we must keep our eyes on that. Uh, we got questions for uh, IMX. We got ENA uh, in South Africa. We call that thing ENA. Uh, that uh, that token i keep i keep thinking a now whenever i see ena um let's see what else we got imx guys uh what is jewel zen tube asking for jewel uh ripple muncher says shag the likes you know what to do you know what to do um okay let's see what else we got here um <laughs> Alex says there's a sexy A of bull flag on Poly X. I know he likes his uh, his Poly X trades. And uh, N N S X Abyss is asking for injective. Uh, well, maybe I've got something in store for you guys. So remember, stick around because I've got a couple of things uh, that I want to offload on you guys that uh, might keep you happy. So uh, here's another AI play. Now I've been talking about this uh, for a couple of days, and this is GRT, uh, another AI uh, type play, and we are still chopping around in the entry box. Okay, so what? we see that's nice we've seen bitcoin pop now bitcoin explode and that's totally fine as long as bitcoin's pushing up and uh, these alts are sitting around flat then we're okay
okay. Um, you know, we're just going to let BTC give its time to breathe and then we can start unloading or unlocking uh, some of these altcoins. So right now, GRT is doing exactly uh, what we wanted it to do. It's hovering around uh, this nice little... Um, um, I see John Ladder says, I don't like the content. I was like, geez, this guy doesn't like my content. And then he says, I love it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, GRT looking good here in this box. I got the 618. We've got a rising trend. We've got horizontals here in play for us. And it's uh, copying a lot of these other tokens in the market. So playing the game, I'm still long GRT. I'm looking for higher. Obviously, uh, I'm looking for this move up into trend here at 36, 37. And uh, then we, when we get to 41, okay, if we get to 41, we reassess where we are then we figure out how we're going to play the game but uh if we do turn nice and bullish, there is going to be an opportunity here. If we break this trend, we should get then some kind of breather in the next couple of days. We'll get that breather. We'll get that opportunity then to reassess and be level-headed in our approach here and say, okay, are we bullish now on the retest? And then we can load up and we can add uh, to GRT. So right now, uh, we are still floating around that box. For me, anywhere in this box for GRT is for buying. And uh, the same principle applies to GRT and all these other tokens. In fact, all the tokens that you are trading uh, at the moment if you do sweat out and we start losing levels identify your next strong zone and uh, for me grt your next big zone is going to be around 0 0.287 okay so nothing has changed there uh, on grt and then another ai play render also playing the game for us and uh, i quite like the look of this at the moment so uh, it's jumped out of the box for the second time and uh, those of you i mean you've now had probably three opportunities to grab render longs in this box so i'm hoping if you've been watching the show you have been jumping into uh, some of these positions here and uh, render is now starting to push for us so i like the look of this if you did grab your entry and you are terrified of the market what you can do is start raising uh, your stop loss to entry. Your entry average should probably be around 9.3 by now uh, if you were entering into the box. So 9.3 is a support region that I would watch. That's the 50-day MA uh, holding things up now at the moment. So eyes on this 50-day MA. So number one, if you are terrified of the market, raise your stops now. You can put them up just underneath that 50-day moving average. If you are not terrified of the market, Okay, like me, for example, I'm not terrified of the market. So my trade stays in play. My stop is still below the lows and uh, I want to be able to cater for any deep pullbacks into this box. Uh, so for me, I'm carrying on as is uh, with render as it originally set out. But again, we have it a move. So it depends how you view your risk and how you view things. You can now move your stop to just under that 50 day MA if you want to just make things a little bit safer for you. Okay, um, renders covered, GRT's covered. Huh? We've hit you with some bangers here. JC Sunder says he's buying XRP. Um, somebody must tell him that uh, that XRP isn't the actual stable coin. They, they're still releasing the stable coin. So if you're buying XRP, that's... <laughs> Look, maybe, I mean, J JC Thunder, maybe uh, XRP is going to be a thing. Let's, uh, you know, I, I just like to have a little bit of a laugh at it. Uh, maybe because XRP, XRP made me so happy and it made me so sad at the same time. Uh, <laughs> over, when was it? 2017, 2018. And uh, Sir JK says, the market gives me nightmares. Guys, the market can give anyone nightmares. Um, wait till you start trying to trade meme coins. <laughs> I <laughs> take Ray. Ray hasn't slept in days. Ray, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin, I'm really gonna ruin your day. Ray, I went oh, long, Celestia. Yeah. <laughs> you bought my bag. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Ray, I know I'm a you hate Celestia, but I went long. Uh, look here, you're in so I'll say. It just looked too good to be true. Um, okay, so here, here I am at the moment. Okay, uh, so this is me in uh, on weeks, and uh, here I am. So I'm long Manta still. Okay, I'm going to show you that Manta trade, and I'm going to show you this uh, the Celestia setup. I'm going to show you why uh, I went long Celestia. <laughs> did I buy? Did I buy your token? Did you I buy? Bought my which... You bought my contract. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you bought it on Tenac. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, that's my play because it just looked nice and juicy. You know, it, it looked like we could get something going here. So uh, if anyone is interested, okay, there's a couple of uh, exchanges here under the show description. So go to the under the show description. Take a look at the exchanges. There's a lot happening here. Okay, so I, I, I forgive you for being confused if you see all these things uh, happening down here. But uh, Prime, XPT and Weeks, you can see these are the ones I'm trading on right now for you guys uh, that you can see. So they're at the top of the list. Both are offering sign up bonuses for you guys guys and uh, uh, i think it's seven percent on prime xpt so that's pretty substantial if you put ten thousand dollars in uh, you're going to get a 700 uh, trading bonus 
uh, from the Prime XBT guys, and it's also KYC friendly. Okay, same with Weeks. Weeks has got so much stuff going on right now um they're giving you rinse protection on your first trade so if you sign up and you deposit money and you take your first trade they are protecting your losses up to 300 dollars for your first trade they are also doing a ten thousand dollar giveaway uh, to people that sign up so they're going to select a hundred people and they're going to send a hundred dollars to a hundred people that sign up using only this link in the description it can only happen uh, it's a special offer for my show so they're going to do that giveaway as well and then on top of that some of the tiers on their sign up bonuses are hitting up to 20 percent for what you are putting in there uh, in weeks and it's kyc friendly as well so those are the two exchanges you've seen me trading here on the show in the last couple of days so take a look at those okay then there's bitget you guys know about nexi you know about and then there's avo and uh, i haven't really spoken about that much but uh, you can trade perps on alts before they launch okay using avo and there's also no kyc required on avo so sign up uh, using that link and uh, take a look at avo give it a test run i'll load up a couple of trades here in the next few days and uh, we can test it together okay so take a look at that one and uh, then uh lower down okay we got to we're going to get you the newsletter in there as well there's easy algo in there you guys know i use easy algo and there's sniper club uh, in there as well and uh, if you're wondering why the legend is here okay because we're going to talk mm -hmm. about sniper club so give me two yep. minutes and then i'm bringing the legend on because the legend has got a setup okay you can see he's woken up he's in la okay it's dark here for me it's getting dark he's just woken up yep. okay the man's yep. woken up and he's got you guys a setup okay so bruce i'm <laughs> going to bring you on now um and then uh, i actually need to activate the sniper club discord because i actually want to show you guys uh what it's all about so i'm going to open it now in the meantime uh while i'm talking to you guys we're going to just get that sniper club uh, rolling here and uh, I'm going to share my screen with you shortly. So uh, just uh, give me a second here while we deal with uh, some tech things. Okay, we're going to bring that up in a second. Okay, uh, let's move into the next one. So yeah, we're going to get to the 500 percenter. Okay, so yeah, let's just do the update on Manta. Um, so if you were wondering why I sat in Manta for so long, you, uh, I took this Manta trade a few days back on the show and uh, I just sat in it and sat in it and sat in it. And uh, the reason I sat in it was we weren't getting a candle region you can yeah uh I'm just hanging around uh, in manta and finally you know it's uh it's given us a move there and that's why i'm still sitting in it there on week so i'm holding that manta position and uh you know right now it's nice and green so if they are going to send it back i'm actually going to close that manta at entry because i was sweating uh for a little bit there it was quite deep red uh, at one point so uh if uh, manta starts melting back i'm going to put my stop loss at uh, on weeks now at entry and uh, then uh, you know then at least it's now risk free but i did the hard work and uh, i sat in this thing and uh, sweated it out so now it is pushing up so manta there's no changes uh, if you like Manta, you can see what's going on here. We do have a little bit of a resistance now. We got horizontal, we got trend in place. So it's a little bit of an issue now uh, after that pump. But uh, what we can see potentially playing out now, and it's quite exciting. So if the market turns bullish, you're going to look for a very simple move here. You're going to look for that rejection at this 50 day MA. And uh, then we're going to look for those buys. And uh, you can start adding to your Manta if you are already in it. Or you can just wait now and uh, let Manta pop this trend. And then you can buy any pullbacks uh, or any retail test uh, onto those regions so that is what i'm going to be looking at on manta and uh, yeah let's see how it plays out so if we break that trend uh, i'll definitely be adding okay and uh, the reason we are here today on the tile i said to you guys i've got a 500 percenter let me know in the chats if anyone has any idea uh, what you think it is let me know let's see let's see let's see um is it the gold chart because gold is going crazy gold yes is gold yeah. pumping Yep. This isn't Peter Schiff's channel, bro. This is fucking... <laughs> I know, but why is gold pumping? <laughs> I owe you guys. I owe you guys. Okay, you guys are coming here. You guys are coming here with things. We got Gito. We got ENA. Some of the guys are saying Sidus, uh, uh, Opsic, Rune. Guys, I like Rune. Um, we gave a Rune long today. Um, okay, so let me, let me, let's me let unveil. Okay, you're not going to believe it. It's another one of Ray's favorites. It's injected. And I'm going to show you why. Okay, I'm going to show you why now that I think we are sleeping on injective. Okay, we've ignored it. We've uh, we've watched this thing abuse us, come down. Um, you know, Ray's been Ray. Are you still in injective? 
I'm still sitting in injector. I'm not giving you this bag. I'll give you Celestia, but you're not taking my injector. <laughs> See, Ray's holding his bag. Okay. So this is DeFi Llama. Here's injective. Okay. Look at the TVL. Look at this chart here. Uh, we had 69 million. Look at this thing trending up. Okay. Bullish injective. Okay. It's looking solid. Um, then we've got Cooper saying $282,000 in fees generated in six days. When are people going to realize that injective is generating more protocol revenue than any other layer one? Okay. Interesting, interesting comments there. And uh, then I've got this chart, okay, which is telling us a story. This is a log chart uh, on injective. So if you're going to try and uh, emulate this chart or copy it, you've got to set your settings to log. Uh, and then you can get this type of chart set up. And uh, this is injective dating uh, all the way back to April 23. And you can see uh, what's happened here. They had a very long consolidation period where it just it bored the hell out of everybody. We actually forgot about it. And uh, then out of nowhere, it started exploding. It started ripping. It started moving. And uh, what did they do? What did they give us? From the lows, okay, from those lows there to that high, gave us a 590% move after this long, long consolidation uh, that uh, consolidation period. So what am I saying here? Well, what, I, what I'm actually saying here is we're in a tight consolidation range on injective. If you take a look at what is going on and uh, if we use history as a guide, okay, if we say, okay, cool, this is what injective did during the, those bearish times in 2023. It just ranged in this area for so long. And uh, if we're going to play this game and we're going to say, okay, cool, we are sitting in this consolidation period. What are we going to do? We're going to buy any moves to the lows of this range because if its history is going to repeat itself and this market is going to turn bullish and we're going to see BTC at all-time highs within the next, say, five months uh, to a year and we're going to see BTC at 100K uh, or something like that, where do you think injective is going to be if BTC is, a, is at 100K? It's a different discussion if BTC is at 40k uh, in a couple of months but if BTC uh, cracks on to 80k 90k 100k over the next while are you going to look back at this chart and say fuck I could have bought injective at the lows of this consolidation range and maybe that was my opportunity to make a 500% trade here so if we get consolidation like we had before we're looking at a 500% move from the low so let's assume that uh, the lows are a wick down into uh, 28 and uh, if we want to take this thing up 500%, what am I looking at here? 170 for injective. Is that out of the question? I don't think it is. Uh, in a bull market, anything is possible, especially with all the hype that surrounds injective. And uh, let's just look at the current situation. So here's a zoomed in, uh, a zoomed in picture on that uh, current range that we are sitting in. And uh, what is this telling me? This is telling me again. Uh, every time it gets in here, I keep adding to my injective bags here. And uh, I dropped this one on Sniper Club a couple of days ago as well. And uh, I'm loving this buy. Anything into these into these lows for me uh, is a buy for injective. I'm looking for moves into this area. Anything here for me, I'm adding to my injective bags. I want to play that game. If history is going to repeat itself, I want to be the guy buying injective at the bottom of these lows. If for example, we start losing this range and we start losing the 200-day MA, then the market is terrible, okay? Then we are in a mess out there and, uh, you know, BTC is drifting, it's dropping lower, people are getting super bearish, that's a different story. But uh, if BTC just behaves itself, and I'm talking about hangs around in a range, maybe even hits uh, 55K, 60K, we might be getting injective a little bit lower here, 28, 29, something like that. And uh, that for me is a secondary buy zone. So I added to my bags in this entry zone, number one. And uh, any moves lower down, I'm going to be adding to this region down 28, 27, anywhere uh, in that area for me, I'm going to be adding. So let's just take a look here. Uh, we had some bullish order blocks as well backing us up. So there's multiple reasons here why injective should hold this range low. And uh, obviously, it's never going to be easy. When you're dipping down into a range low, into major support, you start second-guessing yourself. It gets very tricky. But uh, you need to back these levels. You need to back these areas. And uh, for me, I think Injective is going to be an easy play here if we get this opportunity down at, uh, at this 28 region, 29, anywhere around there. That, for me, is for adding to spot bags and things like that. And uh, then I think we're going to be uh, cooking. Um, ZZ says, Injective is this cycle's lunar. Well, if in Injective is this cycle's lunar, then we might see a $1,000 uh, Injective. And uh, I'll ride that one to the top, no problem. Uh, they are welcome to do that. Um, you agree? You agree? I agree? <laughs> Short it. Short it to zero. 
we can short it to zero but first we're going to ride it up we're going to ride it up as high as they want to pump it that's what we're going to do uh, so injective i love the look of that that's why and then number two there are multiple projects on the injective ecosystem and uh, this is rodolfo uh rodolfo pozo a follow him on twitter he's one of our researchers and he hangs out in the sniper club dropping uh fundamentals for you guys as well and uh, he's there he's doing research and things like that all the time for you guys so a strong account to follow follow him uh, if you're in sniper club all his stuff that he drops there for us is under the fundamental section as well that you can find it and uh, he's given you a couple of injective ecosystem projects that you could start looking at if you want to start fiddling around in the injective ecosystem if you are bullish on injective long term maybe you want to start looking at some of these other projects in the injective ecosystem so uh, give him a follow and uh, then you can also go onto coin uh, gecko and you can take a look top injective ecosystem coins by market cap so you can also filter it and you can start looking uh, at a lot of those uh, a lot of those projects over there and then one last thing before i bring on the legend who's waited so patiently Ray, what's the likeage? I only sell this man for likes. I mean, we could definitely take a couple more hundred, but it's not bad right now. Like, guys, give us give us two hundred likes for Uncle Bruce. I took him out of his cage. Okay, quickly, give us the likes. I'm going to tell you my last trade. This one's going to break Ray's heart. <laughs> I have no heart. I bought I bought Ray's bag. <laughs> So basically, the way Michael Saylor looks into your eyes, whenever you tell, uh, whenever you sell your BTC, basically, Ray just needed to look into my eyes there when I was clicking long uh, on Celestia here. Uh, <laughs> the 7 8 <laughs> Bro, I had to. It was a good setup. <laughs> I hope it's on 10x. So can uh, uh, let's see. Uh, it's, yeah, and it's on week. So what did I do? What did I do? It's a, it's a cross, it's a cross account. Okay. It's a cross account. It's a cross account. Um, but uh, let's see how it goes. There's a long journey here on, uh, on Celestia. Okay. And uh, you know, if people are bullish on objective, we know like maybe Celestia is going to start waking up as well. Uh, let's not forget about it. Uh, even though it's caused us a lot of pain. I mean, I mean, this was heartbreaking this ride all the way down. And then we thought we were out of the woods. What did they do? They did it to us again. And there's nothing saying that they're not going to do it again to us, Ray. Um, but you know we can't ignore uh, that this is a good area so uh, celestia traders if you are interested uh, what i'm watching at the moment is my support you can see we've got strong support here we've had a reaction in this area and uh, if you're looking for longs that is the support market that you're going to watch 11.48 Okay, so watch this 11.48. It's a reaction zone at the moment. So let's see how it plays out. If it does push higher, we've got resistance areas to pay attention to, 13.9. And uh, then we've got a nice little horizontal and 50 day uh, at 15.3. So you want to watch these resistance zones. If we do get momentum now in the market, these are areas you're going to look for take profit. These are areas you're going to be de-risking uh, and expecting some kind of rejection. Because look what's happened every time Celestia has hit some decent sized resistance it's rejected quite hard so uh play it safely but uh, if you're looking for entries obviously look for pullbacks as deep as possible here on celestia anything around 12 if you can get it at 12 uh or, or just under 12 even better um other than that let it ride up let's see uh let's see how this plays out but yeah ray <laughs> thanks for your bags bro <laughs> <laughs> Don't be upset, bro. You can log it now. <laughs> no more spamming, guys. But you get banned for spamming. Are they spamming us? Are they spamming us? Oh no, who's spamming us here? No, they're spamming us in the chat. Um, okay, let's let's bring on the legend. Let's bring on the legend. Good Here's the morning. Legend. So, how are you? What are we, I'm doing What's really happening? good. Yeah, I, I wake up. I wake up to all the work that you've done overnight, and I go, "What has Dylan done to the market?" And I go, okay, okay. And then I try and catch up to you and <clears throat> go back and forth and go, okay, I'll pick up the ball over here. You can go to sleep now. It's kind of like, <laughs> like yeah, I'm, I'm passing over the baton to you now this, uh, this evening. Um, yeah. I was going to drop a trade this morning. I was going through my charts and I was yeah. going to drop a R weave signal. And I, uh, I prepped it, I got it ready, and I went into there, I was going to drop it, and I saw the legend had already dropped it. Yep. Um, so talk me through that. Show me what's uh, what's going sure. on. Let's bring your screen up here. Well, let's bring up uh, the chart. And, whoops, sorry. Okay, and there we go. You in? Right. I'll click it. I'll click it. I'll click okay, it. There you we got go. It. Okay. Yeah, you're in. Um, our weave's kind of cool, and I got a little bit of a teaching thing for people that are interested. You know, we, <clears throat> you know, the, the, 
we're really into hashtag science, right? The Fibonacci levels. And one of the things about the Fibonacci um, ratios is that they repeat themselves. So I wanted to show, point this out before I forgot that if you do the Fibonacci pull from right over here, right? That's the, that's the 786, right? Right over there. You can see it. That's the 786 right there. But if you also pull it from that low over there, the, the last low right over here, it's the 618. And you see how they're identical, the same levels? That shows you that A, you're getting your levels correctly, but more importantly, it shows that the token is respecting those levels strongly because it's repeating itself over and over again. So a little trick for you guys that are really into TA. But yeah, I mean, are we, are we right um, for me? Uh, I actually uh, did a fairly, the, 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 the trade that I posted was actually a, a, a 5X margin trade because um, we all seem to be pretty confident that our wave is going to take a major run on that next bull push mm. so i opened up a uh, quite a big position on on uh <coughs> on, uh, on on margin uh eventually turning that into a full blown um a spot bag but you know i'm if it comes down a little bit lower i'll just buy a little bit more basically in this region is building up that position um but uh the way i'm looking at it right now um i'm also looking at this as a leverage trade which basically means that we put our stops right under those lows over there. So we're talking about just about 5%. It's a little rich for me for a leverage trade, but we can, you know, can kind of um, uh, add in if things pull back down, but it's still respecting this downward trend line. So I'm hoping for, if we zoom in, hoping for a little bit more of a pullback. Let me zoom in so you can see it, right? So mm -hmm. it's still respecting, ping there to the trend line, pulling back up, it's going to ping it again. And I wouldn't mind if this thing just kept on, you know, doom, 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 down right into there, right back down into that fib level before it broke the trend, let it retest once more and then take off. So be a little bit patient with this one, but this one should be, if it plays out and Bitcoin, Bitcoin doesn't mess with this anymore, um, this should be about a 30% pump just back up to the local high. Probably well, take some know. off from there, yeah. The golden rule is also after a nice pullback and a dump onto good support, you want to buy the tokens that have been responding well over the last, yeah. say, couple of months. And our weave yeah. was one of the first ones I, I turned to today. And yeah. I was very happy to see that you've already dropped the exact setup that yeah. I was giving uh, in Sniper Club. So uh, well done there on that one. Great, I want to bring up the I want to bring up the, I want to bring up Sniper Club quickly. I want to show those of you yeah. that don't know what it is. I just want to show you what it is. Um, you know, we always talk about it. You guys don't know what I'm what I'm actually <coughs> about. Yep. Yeah. And this is where that's where the goodies happen. There's so much okay, going on uh, there. It's popped up there. Yeah. It says the browser can't access my screen. Okay, let me just try one more time here. Okay, I'm just giving that a go. Let's just see if it's uh some reason it's not uh, it's not uh, listening to me um um is, are you on the web or on the app uh i'm on the uh i think it's the app uh let's okay. uh, let's go let's do this okay let's try that okay let's see if that works okay there we go okay so this is uh just a basic uh, overview quickly i'll keep it very brief but for those of you that are wondering what sniper club is okay so we've got a lot going on here at the top here we've got chats <laughs> we've got uh, storing our zoom recordings we do 10 zooms a week uh, yep. on uh, on sniper club then we've got chats we've got the traders chatting we've got traders dropping charts i'm obviously in there dropping things as well uh in the chats talking to guys uh doing these things we've got psychology chats as well then we've got some juicy things here we've got leverage signals uh that mm -hmm. we send out we've got spot signals that we send out you can see here's my last uh, couple of spot signals here's mm -hmm. rune uh, that i sent out earlier we've got investment setups we've got margins that's where you saw bruce's are we've uh are yep. we've trade here uh, earlier today here's my drt from the other day mm -hmm. so we were calling these things quite early uh, then we've got indicator signals from uh, from seth from easy elgo uh, he's dropping indicator signals in there then we've got dgen signals now that's basically a free for all we drop things in there that we mm -hmm. we've taken risks on things that can go to zero we drop a couple of things in there so that is what we're looking at in that section then we've got sheldon section there doing his charts then i've got my section i wanted just to show you guys how i build these positions for you and how if you check into my area regularly you're going to see the way these setups you have to wait for these setups but they come to you and uh, if you look at the right this is pipe and uh, this was the first chart i dropped on the fourth 
uh, on the 2nd of April. I said three big zones incoming. Then I started highlighting the long zone that we're looking at uh, for Pyth. And, uh, you know, there it is now. So there it goes kicking off. Uh, we had another one here. Uh, Celestia, if you take a look how we build and we wait for these entries to come, yep. I just update them every day uh, for you guys that you can pay attention to. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Rune here on the right hand side. So you can see we've been waiting for this entry uh, for ages here for Rune. This was also on the 2nd of April, waiting, 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 and then ping. Uh, we nailed that entry there uh, on Rune. And uh, yeah, AVAX was a classic as well. So here we go. I teed up AVAX on the 2nd of April. So you guys were ready for it, Sniper Club members. You could see, you could check in every day. And uh, then we hit our areas, we hit our zones uh, and that type of thing. So there's tons of charts that I'm updating daily in there. Then DJ David's got his section. Oh. Bruce has got his section here as well. Chaos has got his section. Then we've got Mama Sniper. She was trading mm -hmm. Doge today. Um, yeah, yeah th there's so much happening here, guys. Then obviously we've got airdrops. I mean, that's it's a killer on its own. Uh, we got the library. Where's the Rodolfo section? What is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, that's indicators. <laughs> oh, and deep dive. That's deep dive. Yeah, news and, news and uh, research. So here's Rodolfo here dropping some uh, fundamentals yeah. for you guys. So basically, in a nutshell, uh, it's all going down. Yeah. Uh, and my second section, by the way, is the ask section. So there's a section for Simon, David, Dylan, and myself, where anyone that's in the Sniper Club has direct access to us. Got a question about a chart, got a section about TA, got a question about TA. Ask us directly when you interact. Uh, basically, our goal is that you guys become awesome traders yourself. So, Weletu is here in the chat. Now, I haven't seen him in the chat for a couple of days. Weletu, DM me on Twitter. Okay, DM me on Twitter. Get hold of me. Okay, I'm putting you in the sniper club. So, Weletu. Okay, you always here in the chats, bro. Yep. If you're not in the Sniper Club already, uh, DM me. Um, I will get uh, I will get you there. I'm getting you in there. Okay, you've been in the yep. chats here supporting us for months and months and months. Wow, and uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna stick you in there. And uh, let's see if that uh, if that can help your trading. So uh, just okay. hopefully you are still there in the chats. DM me on Twitter. Uh, try and get hold of me there. If not, just bang me in the chats again uh, tomorrow, and uh, you know we'll we'll sort you out. Okay, so we're we'll you. We got you there. Um, okay, Bruce. Thank you for hanging. Any As sessions always, tonight? Brother, tonight? Love it. Any sessions tonight on Sniper Club? What's happening? Uh, I, in, uh, in uh, what time is it right now? In uh, 30, no, uh, what, hold on. Let me double check. Yes, I got in, uh, okay, one second. In uh, 30 minutes, I'm kicking off a uh, section uh, working on portfolio management. How to get okay. in, how to build it, how to multiply it, and how to get out. Okay, legend. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Um, okay, let's just do a quick BTC update just so we can leave you guys, uh, you know, knowing where we are and where, where we need to be uh, on BTC. Let me just pull that screen up one more time for you guys. I just want to make sure you guys uh, have the levels and you understand where we are. Okay, there we go. Uh, so BTC, again, still looking good. Uh, yeah, no issues here at the moment, climbing nicely. And, uh, you know, nothing nothing bad at the moment. We were patient. We worked for those entries. We sweated those entries. But what did we do? Most importantly, we backed the major support levels. We trusted the process. We trusted the areas. And uh, now you've been rewarded uh, for patience and for backing those areas. So here goes BTC watching today. Big level for me, 66,800. That's the main one now uh, that I'm going to be watching. If you are already long BTC, just enjoy the ride now. Just cruise. And, uh, you know, you've done the work. We've done the work. The hardest days or the red days when we're sweating for entries. And, uh, you know, it, it's such a rewarding feeling when, when it starts paying off. So well done uh, if you guys survived uh, that, uh, that move down there. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow, Friday. Uh, I'm going to bring you some DGen things tomorrow. I'll bring you some memes. And uh, if anything's major happening in the market, we'll obviously cover Sol, AVAX, ETH, the regulars as well. So looking forward to tomorrow. Could be some fun. Uh, see you guys later.